Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is The Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games in a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Dirt Rally, and I'm into week 41 of the Gaming Decathlon competition. I'm now into the 1980s classification and the third tier of racing. It's rear wheel drive. We're taking the Renault to Greece. We're going to start with a few shakedowns, or one shakedown anyway, uh, to get used to the car. As it is a rear wheel drive, it will be incredibly difficult to drive here. Five, four, three, two, one, go. 60, press right six. And left five. Into right four half long. Into left four long. Into right three. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. That's why we're doing this. Into left six crest. And left five over crest, opens crest, tightens, right four don't cut, 100, left one long, crest, into right three long, into turn right one, into left six continues 80, small crest, into right six long, into left six long of bump, press 80. Right five half long, and left four 60. Keep right over press, left one continues for 100. Into right six, into keep left over press. Into right six, over press, jump baby, 80, left six, finish. All right, so uh, while well, I've played this game before starting this series, uh, the only time I've ever raced the 1980s classification was with the BMW. So taking the Renault this time is uh, a bold move on my part. And like I said, I was only going to give myself one shakedown to get used to it. And uh, I'm not used to it yet, but it felt a lot more stable than the BMW did when I took that one. Uh, the first time I ran the 1980s classification, or the one time, actually took me a couple times uh, before I was able to get out of the classification. So I actually drove that BMW for a while uh, when I first started playing this game, uh, as it was Five, a four, heck of an experiment. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh. what was that? <laughs> I was not thinking about the start. <laughs> I botched that start bad. It's only a second. Uh, my goal here is not necessarily going to be much about time. And uh, just try to get through this first race, getting used to the car. Uh, and if I happen to be in the middle placings, then that's that's great. Uh, but this is going to largely be about survival as a lot of these rear-wheel drive cars will run into problems that will cost them considerable time, you know, 8 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes time because of mistakes. So if I can avoid mistakes, even if I'm slower on pace, uh, I will set myself up for success in this race. And like I said, this Renault actually feels quite stable for a rear-wheel drive, so I think I picked the right car on that matter. That BMW is incredibly unstable. It's got more power, it's got more horsepower, but it's horribly unbalanced. I mean, look at that, I'm only a second and a half off the pace, and I'm not pushing at all, so I'm very happy with this car so far. I'm not sliding all over the place. I'm not fighting it constantly. 
I just don't have quite the pace that the other cars have, but the stability is just a huge upgrade, but that was my bad there. That's going to cost me some time. That spin out there. I, that turn had a lot more uh, angle than I expected it to. And with the edge, I had to pull the wheel a lot harder. Well, not the wheel, my gamepad, but theoretically pull the wheel a lot harder uh, than I intended to. And that led to the uh, spin out there. Uh, that definitely cost me six to eight seconds. There you go, 12 seconds. But that's still not a half bad time, considering. I mean, honestly, I think I lost 8 to 10 seconds right there, so. And nothing's changed about my early analysis here. This car feels far more stable. Not tremendous speed, but uh, we're making up for it. Yeah, I'm really happy with choosing the uh, the Renault here. <laughs> Only a few seconds lost there, so. Again, though, with that tighter turn than I expected, so that's clearly my issue here, is this one does not do well when you have to get to that point where you turn 90 degrees. There is no power slide out of that 90 degree turn. Once you get into that 90 degree turn, you're, you're done for. That time I had understeer and hit the wind, the tree there. Ooh. That was a little bump on the side that almost uh, shot me across the road and off the edge. I'm losing a lot more time through here. This difficult session uh, section, the edges of the road are catching me out over and over again. The road's just kind of skinny if you're taking out those little uh, those bumps there. Okay, there's the finish. Come on, come on. It's about 20 seconds off. What do we think? 20? I'm guessing plus 20. Plus 28. Uh, that was a bad last section. Uh, but look how close I was to what, third place. So if Minami and Dahl have problems, I might be able to outrace Driscoll, Erickson, uh, and everybody else behind that. I think I'm good over them. So, hey, good start. All right, well, let's keep on trucking through. All right, so if this is the only game that you've seen me play, uh, the Gaming Decathlon, I'm trying to master 10 games. So there's so many gamers out there on, on YouTube, on Twitch, elsewhere. You know, we're not unique in that sense. What is unique about this channel is that everybody else tends to be really good at one or two games. Go. Here we go, much better start this time. Took a second to uh, concentrate on doing that. Uh, so, a lot of people are really good at just one or two games. They are not generally good at more than that. And you don't see them play more than a couple, two or three games on their channel. And maybe, you know, you got some YouTubers that will mix it up and they'll play other games. 
Uh, from time to time, you, you'll get a few videos here and there, but for the most part, they stick to, you know, a couple games. And that's standard. Uh, I'm doing 10. And that's, that is kind of the unique aspect of this channel, is I have 10 games that I'm trying to master, that I'm trying to become an expert at, while not being an expert at any of them, and this is going to hurt. Uh, we're out of this race. Just like that, one little bump on the side, and it's race over. That was really unfortunate, because I was... Only missed the apex by a couple inches, I guess. Uh, caught one little bump, and it put me up on two wheels, and there was nothing I could do. I had no control at that point, and we went over the side. Alright, well, no points earned today. works yet it's gonna hurt us on the, uh, the money side uh, I do get <sighs> at least that bonus uh, engineer upgrades I am in the relegation zone of course only the top 10 earn points so I'll, I'll quickly climb out of this uh, but let's go ahead and save and exit and there was a replay of the uh, over the side incident. All right, so two empties here. Oh, 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 helps if I hit right button. Change perks, there we go. Ooh, I don't even have much to spend. Uh, we are on rear wheel drive and I am on a French Renault. That's not very expensive. Let's go ahead and purchase that one so we can get this car upgraded quicker. And then, what can you do? Same dilemma, the four wheel drive isn't going to help us much at the moment. Uh, 1980s, oh, there you go. Alright, two new perks helpful uh, contract everybody's good still I will have to extend those contracts before too long and we failed miserably on the first race and uh, that's sad because I felt like I was doing just fine uh, I was just a little too tight on the apex I mean you know if we're talking a racetrack I, I caught a little curb was all I wasn't even two tires I didn't have two wheels off in the grass that's just a little curb was all that was and it it sent us over so it happens and we're on to the next stage and we're gonna jump straight into it no 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 yeah let's do it why not I crash I crash right five Four, three, two, one, go. Right four over crest and crest. And left four opens 40. Okay, this is a much higher pace track, so we'll see. Uh, I tend to have a lot more problems here because of the speed that it doesn't take as much to get off the track on this. But it's a wider track, but it's, it's just little mistakes are all it takes. And like I could have been off there if I was just a couple miles an hour faster than I was. Again, I'm going to play conservative here for a little bit and get the hang of this thing. If my times are off, my times are off. Making it to the end is a lot better than uh, DNFing like I just, just did on the last race in Greece. To left five over crest, 60. Right three half long, keep in. Into right six over crest, 60 past junction. Right six over crest jump, maybe. 80 crest jump, 
Six seconds off. Uh, again, I am nowhere near pushing it right now. This is a nice stable drive so far. Feeling it out through the corners a little bit. Seeing what it can do, what kind of control I have. Uh, I can tell you now, that old BMW, that 1980s BMW, the counterpart here, uh, was just wild. It, it had all kinds of pace around here, but it was just wild. It was so difficult to control. And this car is not like that. Uh, the mid-engine, the stability, the wheelbase, all of it adds to so much more control, and I'm not constantly uh, losing traction. Fifteen seconds off. Again, falling back, but well in control here, which means I should be able to get to the end of this race without much uh, to it. And as I gain comfort, I push the pace a little bit more, shave off some seconds. Might not be competing with the top three, but again, if damage starts occurring for cars, then I'm right there to overtake in the standings. In fact, I know that little uh, rock formation right there is one that I've had so many troubles with on this track, regardless of car, and that was easy. So. Handling's good, it's responding well, just a little off on the pace, uh, but upgrades can help with that a little bit, and my own driving style, pushing it. More will take care of that. Uh, well, anyway, back back to the channel. So, I'm trying to become the best at 10 games. Now, I started off with a mix of sports games and strategy games, uh, sports management games specifically. Uh, but I definitely found that over time, and it was late last year when I first started this channel. Ooh, ooh, I misread that. Totally misread that. That was just reading the road and not listening necessarily to my uh, co-driver. I, I... Uh, the camber of the road suggested that that was going to be a, a right hand bend <laughs> I turned right it went left so it, I just cost myself an additional 5 to 10 seconds there uh, not that bad though 6th place and again you take out that that mistake, uh, not listening to the co-driver there and just talking my way through, uh, along with just a little more pace and I'm easily into the top three here. Without the stress of will I make it to the end of this thing, uh, which sadly I didn't on the last one even though I was comfortable. Uh, but that track has, the grease track has, the Greek track I should say, uh, has all sorts of bumps um, and dips uh, near the edges of that road that some stick out more than others uh, so I got caught out on that but this track really doesn't have that problem five four three two one go and crest 100 past junction well, anyway uh, so I started with that mixture of sports uh, and strategy games and the strategy games really didn't take too well, uh, so after a long time, I ooh, lagged. Come on, I never get lagged on this game. There's uh, that. Two. 
Uh, the strategy games just didn't take too well. My audience definitely is more along these games, which is why I slowly started switching to these games. So uh, I did an overhaul of the channel. The first phase uh, added games like this one, Dirt Rally. And the last edition was F1 2018, and the reason why uh, was I had to wait for the release date of that one to get it uh, onto the channel. There you go. See, only three seconds off the pace. So, and I'm still not really pushing it, but I'm also not listening closely enough. Um, okay, uh, forced recovery there. Come on. It's stuck in a ditch. And again, I'm not listening to my co-driver. Getting caught out by things. So I might need to talk less and uh, pay attention to the drive a bit more here. Uh, I've got myself caught out a couple times now. <laughs> but anyway, uh, after finishing that first phase, uh, I found that my assumptions were right, that my audience definitely prefers uh, the sports games. So I've continued that trend and the second phase of the overhaul is now happening and I'm switching to all 10 uh, sports games. And a lot of them are like this racing game. So be sure to check out uh, my channel if you have not and take a look and see what is there. Uh, as I try to go from clearly no expert in this game and no expert in the other games, but try to develop into being that expert. And I've already made a lot of progress. And you got to remember also that I am playing full difficulty level here. Uh, the assists are all, or just about all, off. So. I'm playing all games at essentially max difficulty. Oh, see, there you go. I listened to my co-driver for a second there. I would not have noticed that. There you go. Time's looking a little better after that 30 seconds that I lost in Sector 2. Uh, due to my incompetence, no. uh, due to not paying attention, not listening. See, that's why you should be a good listener. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, come to the channel. Being added to the channel, I have F1 2018 now. So be sure to check that out. Another racing game if you like uh, what I'm doing here. That is an excellent game, by the way. And also, I have a new F1 2018 manager mode, uh, which is not something you're going to find on any other channel. So I found a way. Uh, there are ways to simulate chunks of that game. And so I'm doing a cross between uh, my driving in career mode and then the uh, simulation side that the game does offer. So there's another sixth place uh, despite 30 seconds loss. You take those 30 seconds off and I was fourth place just a few seconds off Triscoll. So again, I should be in that third to fourth place range. At sixth place, yeah, that's okay. Uh, and hopefully we'll start to see some issues because, oh look, there are some issues. Price crashed hard enough to lose a body panel uh, Wilson, misaligned wheel, clutch slipping, boiled brake fluid, ooh, overcooked the brakes, Fontaine, uh, cracked inlet manifold, damaged wheel hub, so definitely uh, some hard collisions with most likely trees, if not rocks, uh, by some of the other drivers, and only 10 of us came out clean. This one opens up a little bit more, speed gets a little bit higher, if I remember which uh, 
which stage this is. Pair vehicle, first chance, not too much damage here. And with my good pit crew, this should be, we should be able to take care of all of this. Maybe, Ooh, maybe not, not quite. Okay, well, body work, no problem. We'll just bring those wheels back to 99%, that's fine. Almost full repairs. Five, right, four, stage three, here we go. Three, two, one, go. 40, left five, half long, times three. Right three, Pretty good start here. Crash, continues past junction, don't cut. And left five over crest. And right three, 40 crest. Into caution, crest jump maybe. And right four, half long, tight. And left four. Into middle over long press. Into left four over 80, don't cut, 60. Caution, right three, long, stay mid, tight over crest, 60 long, press jump maybe. Again, in that old BMW, I probably would have slammed into trees a couple times, or just about. There, I got through that pretty easily. Uh, it was important that I listened to my co-driver through there, as there was a lot of uh, somewhat tight turns through there, so main reason for the uh, general silence through that section. Anyway, that F1 2018 manager mode, uh, what that's all about is it's a game that's incredibly important that you use your practice time. Um, the, there are practice programs, and that's where you get the bulk of your research and development points to improve the car to make it competitive. Um, if you've ever seen it, a Formula One race, you would know that there are teams at the top i.e. Mercedes, Ferrari, and Red Bull, that uh, is not... That they're at a whole other level uh, compared to the other teams. And there are teams at the bottom this year, Williams, uh, that no matter how hard they try, they're not competing for race wins. Uh, they're just not at the same level as one another. Unlike here, where essentially any car, any driver could do well. A lot of this comes down to the driver and less of the car. But that comes back to that same thing of, I like this car a lot better than that BMW for the stability, even though it's a little bit slower. 15 seconds, but again, that's not bad. I just caught that this corner was tighter. I might have messed that one up. <laughs> Otherwise. Uh, anyway, so that practice program is essential, and it takes a while uh, in the regular career mode. What, what I'm doing in the manager mode is I'm giving myself literally three hot laps. So I run three laps at pace, and I try to get through three practice programs if I can in those three laps. Uh, so I get what I get out of that, and that leaves a lot of practice programs unfinished and potentially zero finished if I don't do well on those three laps. And then I do a single one-shot qualifying, one lap, uh, and that's it. That's your position. So you get what you get, so one try is all. And then I simulate the race. So. Most of it comes down to the development of the car, and there you go, there's that, that piece that was missing. Uh, of, I did not hear my co-driver tell me uh, that there was a square turn coming up. Because again, I'm talking and not listening to my co-driver. That's my bad. Uh, luckily, I did not lose a lot of time there. As that one's going to debut this week on Saturday, uh, so be sure to check that out this coming Saturday, uh, the new F1 Manager Mode coming to my channel. I'll have a couple of episodes uh, live for that. Uh, for that one, I'm going to take Sauber. For my regular career, I'm taking Williams, so the two teams that are on the bottom, uh, trying to bring them to the top. 
right five, half long. Alright, this time shouldn't be too bad. Certainly better than the last couple stages. Ah, oh, still sixth. 32 seconds off the pace. So a good 10, 15 seconds better than I've been on the last couple stages. Uh, but still just a handful of seconds out of third. Eight seconds uh, away from third place. That's how tight it is here in the midfield. But I'm not moving up. But again, a few drivers taking damage. So if any others could do that, I will bump my way up. In fact, I am in fifth. So it looks like one of those perennial top six drivers took some damage, uh, maybe in the last stage, and knocked themselves down a bit. And in terms of gaps, it looks like I'm not going anywhere unless one of those top four, Minami, Dahl, Driscoll, or Ericsson, uh, do take some damage here over the course of this race and lose time. On to stage four, we'll be halfway after this. This is one of the long ones, 15 kilometers uh, to get through here. Twice the length of a normal stage. Oh, there you go, stage two where I moved up. So, someone took damage in that one. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Right six over crest. 130. Left four keep in. 40. Right six over crest. Don't cut. 100. Two small crest. Into left three long. Opens over crest. Road's a little bit skinnier through here. 40. Crest. Left three long. Crest. Into right four half long. 60. Loving the stability with this car. Maybe. 80. Right six times three over crest. 100. Crest past junction. Right three over crest to keep in. 80. Crest. And right five over crest jump. 60. Start so far here. Left five. And a little more pace than I've had here recently. This stage. I think I might opt to talk a little less. <laughs> Pay attention to my co-driver a little more. Just three seconds off the pace so far. Left six through dip and press jump. And right six over press, times five. Past junction, left six, don't cut. Press. Into right five. Left six through dip. And right five over press jump, maybe. Stay right. Left six, don't cut, 80. Right six over crest, and left four long, crest, and right six over crest, past junction continues, and times four long, 60, right three past junction, opens over two crest, keep left through dip, crest, right five past junction, and crest, and left six through dip, it's the middle over crest, 40, Keep right over long press, jump maybe. Left six over bump and press. Care right six times four over press, jump maybe. Into left four half long, don't cut, 40. Right five past junction, keep in over press, jump and press, jump maybe. And caution left four half long, keep in over press, rocks on exit. And press, jump right, maybe. So great start here through a right couple sectors, just eight seconds off the pace. I don't quite have the pace, uh, the speed that the other two cars have, but this car has so much more control than them uh, that I should not, if I am listening to my co-driver, be making mistakes, and I haven't uh, so far when I've been listening anyway, uh, and I'm able to push it pretty well. Back to focus for a little bit here, I want to kind of see what I can do. When I'm truly 100% focused on what I'm doing as opposed to not uh, talking through it. So we'll be back in a few seconds. Just nine seconds off pace now. That was only one second off the leader. Into 
middle over crest jump, 60. Caution right takes past junction into middle over big jump and crest jump. 150 over bumps past junction. Bump left six, middle over crest jump maybe. And crest, and keep right over crest, and crest. 40 past junction, crest jump maybe. And crest into left six through dip, continues over crest. 200 past junction. Big up and down section is so easy to lose it through there and spin out and crash horribly and I did not do that. In fact, I was in total control all the way through there. I didn't overdo it. You could hear I was on and off the gas, especially in the air. Uh, so I, I did lose a few seconds, uh, but total stability. I'm really, really glad I, I chose this red out. Uh, so much happier with this one, even though I did DNF in Greece. Uh, that was coincidental, really. That was not about stability. That was not about control of the car. I've got a tight turn coming up here. I did catch that. There we go. And we are doing very well right now. And this is a long stage. There's bound to be... Uh, a lot of cars taking damage and losing time here. I could be moving up in the standings, especially with the kind of time I've managed so far. Just 14 seconds off the pace here. Keep nearly going green in almost every sector. About the worst turn that I've had so far. Just a little squirrely. I had a little too much pace and led to a little bit of oversteer, but and again here, just a little too fast, pushing a little, a little too much. Uh, cost myself about a half second on each of those turns. But otherwise, making good time, and again, still have that stability in this car that's allowing me to do that. And get through there. Eighteen seconds. Still making fantastic time here. Got into the ditch a little bit there, but again, thanks to the stability of this car, I was able to recover nicely from that and probably not even lose any time on that one. Maybe a tenth of a second, but really not much more. Lost a little time here, though. Uh, kind of misread what was coming up. Didn't hear my co-driver, so I backed off a little bit to figure out what uh, what was ahead of me. Big square turn coming. Not a perfect turn. I broke a little bit early on that, but... Recovered nicely, got through it, uh, and it's still only 23 seconds off as I'm coming up on the final stretch. This could definitely be good enough for top three, uh, maybe top two. Obviously not winning it, 23 seconds off, but this is a very good stage for me. Got into the ditch a little bit there, but recovered nicely. I did have to slow down a little bit to get that recovery. But looking real good on this stage here. Pushed it all the way through. Great time here. Should be only about 25, 26 seconds off. And yes, that's good enough for third. Manami and Dahl are leaps and bounds better than the rest of the drivers. Uh, really, at this point, it's it's Ericsson. And there's Driscoll. Lost some time. Driscoll smashed windshield. Lost a minute and a half. So I just picked up a uh, minute, six seconds on Driscoll. That's, that's a pretty good 
good gain there and I gained time of course on Ericsson and Harris as well how we're we looking at this point up to fourth place Driscoll drops behind me by 15 seconds from third place Ericsson slots in and then I slot into fourth and I'm not far behind Ericsson at this point either 24 seconds down so I've got a real battle on my hands for third, fourth, and fifth place at this point, as I've now stretched out above Campbell down in sixth. So while the pace might not be there entirely, uh, that stability is really starting to work wonders as we are halfway through this thing. Uh, this will be the final stage that I'm able to get through on this episode. Uh, we'll have to jump to maybe the final stage at the beginning of the next episode but we'll get one more out of the way here stage number five first repair so and again we should be able to nearly get the car fully repaired but the drive shaft and suspension damage are taking a little bit of time 97 percent on the wheels uh, you know I'd rather have say the exhaust let's take off a few percentage points let's get those wheels up is there room for one more nope okay that's okay uh so ever so slightly more damage than there was before but everything is in good shape that c comes down to having a good pit crew really yeah not beating the car up myself all right one more stage five four three two Been right coming up. Big turn, junction. big turn. Where is it? There it is, there it is. A little late, a little late on the misread when it was because you came over that ledge. I knew it was coming up. I was already slowing for it, but I didn't slow enough. I was trying to keep enough pace. Thought it might be a little further along. It wasn't. So definitely lost a couple seconds through there. Another big turn here. That one was a lot better. So I got one wheel down into the ditch on that. A little tight on the apex. But just two seconds off the pace, and really I lost two seconds in that <laughs> in that corner, so there you go, looking good here. So also coming to the channel, uh, and this is the least sporty of the games, but it counts. It counts. A uh, competitive cooking game. It counts, right? Well, it definitely counts when you consider what's involved in it. Uh, so, Overcooked 2. It is a couch co-op. It is... If you've never seen the game, it is so much fun. Uh, it is by far uh, the best couch co-op out there right now. Uh, and yes, that does include things like Super Smash Brothers and, and the likes. Uh, to me, the best couch co-op of years past was uh, Joust. Now, we're talking way back for that one. Loved that game. But anyway, Overcooked 2, couch co-op game, competitive cooking. It is enormous amounts of fun, requires a lot of teamwork, a lot of communication, and who better than to communicate with than my very own spouse, my wife. Uh, she's going by Soccer Kitty, has joined me on the channel in playing Overcooked 2. Uh, so be sure to check that one out. That also appears on Tuesdays alongside this game, Dirt Rally. So uh, 
should be posted here at the same time. So if you're checking this game out on the day of posting, take a look at Overcooked 2, uh, episode number 3. It just premiered last week, two episodes last week. And episode number 3 just premiered. Ooh, 18 seconds off. I thought I was better than that, but hey, I'm talking, right? So. I'm going to thread that a little bit. Part of that was not listening to my code driver, which I better get doing here until the end of this stage. Anyway, be sure to check that one out because it is loads of fun. Uh, and my wife and I are really enjoying that. And I would love to have uh, that game really take off uh, because trying to encourage her to get more involved and she is she's definitely thinking about it she's oh what was wrong there oh man I thought I was just fine I thought I was in the middle of the road really well not middle but you know right edge I didn't think I was off at all but I spun myself around so you know uh, all the more reason that I need to be paying attention to my co-driver and not talking about my awesome spouse. So, uh, be sure to check that out as well. And uh, let me get to this and finish this up. Ooh, I almost turned into their driveway. Oh, well, there you go. Here's the finish slide. Uh, so, that's going to be doing it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So, if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe. And tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Driscoll's back ahead of me, but fifth place, not bad, and still very much in reach of potentially third with a few stages to go. I'm going to do the next two stages off camera. Tune in next week to see the final stage of this second event here in Finland, and then on to the next round of the championship. Bye for now.